Hello farm owners, farm lovers and agripreneurs. Welcome back to your number one, your favorite agricultural and agribusiness YouTube channel. And in case you are watching for the first time, this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. My name is Lawa Lushala Lawa. I'm an agri consultant in charge of this channel. I'm a farmer by training, by practice and by education. Uh, on today's episode, we are going to be looking at uh, a concept which is face planting or popularly regarded as staggered planting and how this concept can help farmer to generate more income how this uh, concept can actually help farmer in their farming practice to pull some more money to themselves so um, we'll be looking at this how it is being practiced and the benefits are attached to it uh, in case you are a food crop farmer, you are an annual crop farmer, you plant crops like maize, cassava, yam, sweet potato, cowpea, uh, soya bean, uh, pineapple, uh, tomato, pepper. This video is for you and you have to watch it to the end. You've go, you are going to be getting so much value from this video. Um, first and first, let's dive in into the main topic of today. Um, what is staggered or face planting and how is it being practiced so uh, as the name implies face planting is a concept whereby you do your planting in phases with some time interval with it uh, that is basically what face planting or staggered planting is uh, so um, i'm going to be giving some illustration now for us to get uh, the actual picture of how it is being done, how it is being practiced. So, for example, uh, you are a maize farmer. For example, we are using a maize farmer as an example. So, you have, um, let's say, 20 plots here. You have 20 acres of land. So, instead of you to just go ahead and plant the whole 20 acres at the same time, you divide the 20 acres into four plots. This is five acres, five acres, five acres, five acres. Everything making uh, 20 acres. So after the division into five, five acres, then you do your planting on the first plot. For example, again, first of April. If you are doing your planting first of April on the first five acres of land, the second plot, you do the planting at 1st of May. The third plot, you do the planting at 1st of June. For example, at the fourth plot, which is the last plot, you do the planting at July 1st. So you already have an interval of a month between each of them. And the implication of this is that your harvesting will not be happening at the same time. You will harvest this one first. After a month, you will harvest the second plot. After a month, you harvest the third plot. After a month, you harvest the third or the fourth plot. So now, what are the benefits farmers can derive from this? So uh, the first benefit is that it gives you time. Time to allocate and manage. So now, so it gives you time to allocate and manage. Now, the first one you'll be planting now, the first plot you'll be planting, unlike if you plant the whole 20 acres at the, at the same time. Remember, there are developmental stages of each crop. And they are not going to be having their stages at the same time while you are planting this one and while this field is due for fertilizer application this one will not be due for fertilizer application so you can allocate your resources and you can manage your labor very well that is the number one advantage of it the number two advantage of it is that it gives you all year round Uh, all year round harvest 
let me just put it that way so that is the uh, number two benefit farmers will derive from this uh, concept now unlike when you plant everything at the same time and your harvesting will be happening at the same time when you plant this way you are sure of your harvest happening all year round like this month this uh in the next three months you'll be harvesting this one another next three months you another month you'll be harvesting this one another month you'll be harvesting this one another month you'll be harvesting so it gives you a kind of a kind of leverage that you'll be able to spread across the year you're harvesting your harvesting will not happen at the same time and that is hard so and this in case this uh in turn gives you a kind of marketing hedge market hedge yeah yeah so when i say market hedge as we all know you are not the one in charge of the market forces as market flow to it price of commodity tends to go up and come down and most especially in africa when uh nigeria particularly where farmers plant usually plant at the same time at the beginning of the rain so when you do this uh staggered of face planting you'll be able to protect yourself from the impact of glut glut means when the price of commodity drop in the market due to higher supply so at that time definitely your home your own harvesting will not be happening and if any of your harvesting is falling during that time you will be rest assured that the rest three will not be falling during the low prices period then you will be able to protect yourself from selling your product at the wrong time or during the uh during the low prices uh period so this uh this concept is a very very good concept that farmer should kind of uh imbibe especially a food crop farmer and if you have if you have an irrigation on your farm you can even expand it across more than uh, three months more than four months more than five months you'll be having your your production spread across the year and you'll be guaranteed of higher income so with this i've come to the end and uh, of today's video and i hope you got value from this video if you actually got value from this video please and please give this video a like share with your friends and drop comments so that uh, youtube can uh, recommend this video to other farmers and they can also learn from this uh, concept i remember see you on the next one